In this tutorial, we will create a game called Flappy Penguin. It's going to be similar to Flappy Bird. We will create a new project, create empty. We'll start from scratch. First, let's start by building our game mechanics and then come back and build our UI. So we'll go into 2D world and let's position our start and ends of the scene where we want it. So we'll rotate it. Negative 90. Set Y to 4. 5.3. And for the start, negative 90. Position negative 5.3. And four for y. Okay, let's add some assets, and we will use ground asset for our ground. We'll use building eleven for our obstacle that we're gonna be avoiding, and we'll use the green background for our background. Also, let's add a rectangle. We'll use it as a point. Let's rename our assets point ground, and for our character, we'll use a penguin. Move it to characters. Rename it to player. That's all assets that we'll be using for this tutorial. Let's start building our scene. So let's add background and let's add ground. Position ground at zero, zero. We will configure our camera. That's what where we want our camera. And let's scale down our background so we can see more of it. A little bit higher. Okay, I think that's good. For our ground, Let's set collision group for ground to enemy. So if the player collides with the ground, you will get defeated. Add physics and select static. And now let's go configure the collider. So that's gonna be collider for our ground. Okay. Next, let's configure our obstacle collider. We'll set collision group for our building to enemy. Turn on physics and I'll select static. Let's configure our collider. So now we have the building configured. Now let's configure our player. We'll click the player. And we'll select character as a collision group. And expand start and add physics. And it will be dynamic. Let's add a character to our scene. I'm scaling down to 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And let's add a brain box. Move, and let's move 2 in x direction, and remove 0 from y so that gravity can affect the character. And add jump, and we'll set y jump to 5. Save the project, and let's play. Now we have the character jumping. The camera is not following the character. So let's go to camera, and go to position follow, and set to character. And we want to set follow force to 0 at y axis. Let's play again. And now the camera follows the character, and we go off to nowhere. Oh, so let's add a follow offset of 2. So the character will be towards the left of the screen. Let's add an event observer and defeat game over so that we can use game over event observer to launch our U game over UI later on. In our start node, let's set rotation factor of Z to 0 so the character won't rotate around Z axis. And now if we play, when the character collides, the game stops. Go back to our 2D world, and let's duplicate our scene by clicking D. Rename it to scene 1. And let's remove our player from this scene. And let's add our obstacle. So put our obstacle here. Put it behind ground. So let's see how it looks. So that will, that will do. And let's duplicate upwards by clicking W and scaling it upwards, moving a little bit. Click play. Now when we get the other scene, we see our obstacle and we can avoid it. And then if we collide with it, our character gets defeated. Now that's an ability for the player to receive a point each time he avoids the obstacle. So we'll take that point object, move to our scene, align it about, right about there, and let's go modify our point logic. Let's remove the animation so that so that point will be transparent, and add an if collide, add point, and we want to set it to point and collide if the character collides with point. In order 
to the road and let's look at the collider so here's the point collider and let's stretch it all the way across our whole screen and now we should be able to get a point each time we avoid obstacle let's copy this obstacle and add another obstacle right here and duplicate it again and add one more right here save our game let's move it a little bit more into here okay now we can play our game and if we collide we lose okay let's add a ui so we can display the, the point at the top so let's go to our mind map and UI screen and let's add let's add default font put it in a, about in the center and we'll use function score and points and display current now each time we pass we can get a point so now we have a working game mechanic and if we collide, it's game over. We'll end our video here. Our next video is going to be on adding UI to this game. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, write in the comments below. And subscribe to our channel for more videos.